Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing another video on my Steam Deck, and this one is on a Steam Deck accessory, the Steam Deck Docking Hub. This is not the official one from Valve, of course, that was delayed. This one is by iVoller, picked up off of Amazon for about 30 bucks if you wanted to buy one on your own. And what's really cool about it is it sits your Steam Deck in this nice uh, position here so you can sit back in your chair or couch play your games with a you know, Bluetooth controller or something like that, and this will be situated perfectly for your viewing pleasure. Now, if you look here on the back, we'll swing around, you can see that it has a number of ports. It's got three USB 3.0 uh, ports. It's got the USB-C uh, power charging port right here in the center, and then over here, right beside that, we have an HDMI port. This is actually a 4K 30 hertz capable port. So keep that in mind, 4K 30 hertz. And then of course we have a USB-C uh, cable here. It's on a 90 degree and you can swing it around and it plugs in very conveniently in the top of your Steam Deck out of the way. And I like how the 90 degree sends the cord straight back. So it's not sitting up kind of ugly, flying up in the air, or you know maybe going across the vent here. So we go straight back, loops right into the hub. And a good thing about this docking station here is it's got this very narrow, uh, I guess you could say foot or stand piece right here to hold this seam deck in place. And as you notice, it does not cover any of the vents in the back. So it's perfectly situated. I've seen some dock that actually cover part of your vent, which you know you never want to do. Uh, you know, it may be fine, but it may not be in every little bit of uh, covered vents intake or, or exhaust. You don't want to have any of that covered just because this thing can get pretty, pretty warm on some high intensity gaming. And so that's why I really like this setup. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this thing plugged into a 4K screen. See, does it output as it, as it says they do? And we'll see what kind of power we have. I believe this one is rated for 65 watts max, but the Steam Deck itself is only good for up to 45 watts max, so it can exceed that, but no worry. Uh, that is within safety spec. It's not gonna cause any issues because of the charging logic built in. It'll keep it charging at whatever the Steam Deck uh, logic is telling it needs to charge at. Now, the big point is you wanna make sure you don't wanna be below that because you wanna be able to provide as much charge to this deck, of course, as possible. If you're under powered, you will not be able to actually charge while gaming. Your, your thing may stay stagnant or may actually deplete, but this should charge us while we're gaming. So we'll test that out. We'll take a look at it and then we'll maybe plug in a couple um, you know, accessories, maybe a keyboard and mouse, test out those USB uh, ports in the back. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this up on the desk and we'll take it for a spin. Steam Deck is in the docking station here. I have a keyboard and mouse uh, hooked up. And then if we spin it around to the back side, give you a little better picture. We have the HDMI cable coming in. It actually goes to a TV up off screen. I'll show you that in a moment. I have the official Steam Deck USB-C cord coming from the Steam Deck uh, power block. That's in the power in on the docking station. I have my mouse and I have my keyboard right here. Here's the TV that I am plugged into. It's on the HDMI 4 port. Plug comes around, loops around, sorry for all the mess, and into this docking station HDMI port. I'll go ahead and turn this Steam Deck on. And I have the game Scarlet Nexus uh, playing, just kind of to demo everything. And one thing to note, because this hub only supports 4K 30 hertz, you have to make sure you do not have it set to a higher frame rate um, you know, such as 40, which is what I normally run it in just for battery uh, purposes and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that here. You can go to the battery icon when you click on the three dot button, and then that will take you into here. You scroll down uh, on the performance menu, down to performance settings, 
and you can see here frame rate limit and refresh rate just got to make sure your frame rate limit is set to 30 anything higher and you'll have signal loss as soon as you go um, into uh, a game and you try to output the game to your tv so note i am on 30 so we should be good and i'm gonna go ahead and hook up the docking USB-C plug into the Steam Deck and it may go black. Okay, give it a second as it says it's connected to a slow charger. All right, so we'll see what's going on with that. And make sure all my cables are nice and tight. And here we have The game sorry for the uh, video quality here i'm taking a video of a tv screen but uh, just make sure you put your tv in gaming mode otherwise you'll have some lag and latency issues because of the input delay and uh, you know it's nice and clear now it will only output what your game settings are so it's 1280 by 800 not 4k but it does scale to the tv and actually looks pretty good now you probably wouldn't want to actually output raw 4K to the TV anyways for most games because it just the Steam Deck is a nice device, but it is not a super power. Now we'll go ahead and we'll jump to desktop mode. And we can show you what it actually is outputting in desktop mode. Note that you do have icons and your menus and stuff here and your, your desktop icons and your taskbar stuff. And then if you look at the TV, you don't have any of those icons. Now, let's check out this mouse here. And do note the mouse is moving. That mouse is plugged in to the, the docking station here. So that tells us it's working. And what happens is the display is not a mirror display to your TV. It's actually an extended display. So if I go down and say we select something like, uh, we'll go here and we'll bring up some system and we'll go to the console and note, we have the console here. Now I'm dragging it off screen and then as I drag it off screen, it drags it to your extended display. So it's not mirrored, as mentioned, it's extended. So that's why we can drag it from one screen to the other versus dragging it to a mirrored screen. Now, go ahead and we'll test out the keyboard. All right, notice the keyboard functions. So it is communicating from USB to the USB-C into the Steam Deck and no drivers or anything had to be installed. Pretty much just worked right out the box. Here's some top stats for the Steam Deck. And we'll go ahead and exit out of that. And down here, actually we'll go up here and we'll look at uh, let's go ahead and close that Okay, now let's go down here and see if I can find my mouse in this sea of we'll check out some settings here and Here is the display settings. And you can see here, it shows it as a laptop screen, which is a Steam Deck screen here. And then you have my TV that I'm plugged into here, which is marked as 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. And you can hit identify and it'll tell you laptop screen. And then, of course, the Steam Deck, click on the uh, TV here, and it shows you 30 Hertz, which is what we are outputting in our settings, and 4K. So it is doing true 4K to the TV through the HDMI plug. So that does work as uh, as, as it is uh, advertised. And keyboard mouse works. So all your devices plugged in the USB ports are working. And uh, we'll go ahead and switch to gaming mode now.
Went ahead and unplugged the uh, TV. As we confirm, that does function as expected. And I went ahead and grabbed this uh, testing tool to test what kind of uh, amperage, voltage, and wattage we're getting uh, through the cable into the Steam Deck to see if it charges or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And for just a baseline, I'm gonna take the Steam Deck charging cord directly into it. And it might be a little blurry to see, hard to see, but it's reading 14.9 volts, 2.2-ish amps, and it is fluctuating pretty rapidly between 1.9 and 2.1 or so amps, and around 30 watts, 28 watts, 29 watts, 30 watts, it's kind of bouncing around. And do note the little, uh, if you can see it on here with the glare, it is showing as it is charging. And uh, so that is our baseline. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it from the little meter there. And I'm gonna plug it into the back of the docking station. Went ahead and plugged the Steam Deck charger into the docking station. And I went to plug in the uh, plug directly from the docking station to the tester, but it's a little too short. I have just an extension cord. This cord has uh, been tested before and it has no degradation on any kind of power transfer, so it shouldn't affect any kind of readings. Showing about 14.6 volts, 1.99-ish, 2.0, 2.09 amps, and around 29 to 30 watts. So it looks like it's a, pretty much exactly what uh, the baseline of the Steam Deck charger cord going directly into the Steam Deck versus coming from the Steam uh, docking station into the Steam Deck. So it doesn't look like there's any power loss routed through the docking station. So you shouldn't have any issues gaming on the docking station. It should be able to fully charge while you're gaming without any problem. So that's one uh, key feature that you definitely wanna have, especially if you're sitting back in your chair uh, gaming for you know multiple hours at a time you don't want to have to stop detach it from the docking station plug it in charge it and then you know go back to where you were this can charge while you're playing no problems and uh, yeah so definitely a uh, pretty cool uh, accessory here and uh, it does everything it advertised I know they k 60 hertz if that's a big thing that you need and maybe some additional ports but this one for the money which is about at this time 30 ish dollars really i mean it's hard to beat on features and you know exactly what you can do with it there you have it pretty much wraps up this video uh hopefully you found it informative uh once again this is the i voller uh steam deck docking station does have three usb 3.0 ports as a usb-c power in port and it has the HDMI 4K 30 Hertz uh, display out port. And uh, for about 30 bucks, pretty good. Has a nice, pretty much perfect seated position. Doesn't block or impede any of the ventilation, exhaust or intake. And uh, you know, very good option. Definitely take a look and check out the link to the item in my description. And uh, if you're curious on any of the other videos regarding the Steam Deck, uh, such as this leather skin from Dbrand, or any other items that I've done with the Steam Bank, feel free to check out those videos. And I hope to see you on the next video. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, you know, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.